Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to uh, create an application on Python that's going to ask the user whether if they like fruits or not. So let's start by creating a message. So I'm going to call it my variable message and I'm going to basically store this message in this variable. So let's just call it um, Welcome to the big elephant. That's going to be my uh, supermarket market. Okay. So now, if I want to print that variable, so I'm going to say print, and then I'm going to pass my message. That's the first step. Okay. So if I want to see that is working so far, I just go to run and then hit the run without debugger sorry without debugging and then we're gonna see the message here so welcome to the big elephant market that's the first step now we need to print this other message like we need to ask the user whether if they like fruits or not so we're going to create another variable to store that message let's just call it question one and that's going to be um would you like to buy some fruits and let's type yes or no option okay that's going to be another variable that is going to have my message so if I hover over Python is going to tell you that this is a string the same with this one so far so good so next step let's just print this message so we need to print my Q1 because I need to see that the program is actually showing this to the user right so if i go to run or hit ctrl f5 i'm going to see my other question here would you like to buy some fruits yes or no okay so now I have to allow the user to input something so the user actually has to type yes or no right so how do you do that so i'm just going to write a comment here allow user to type okay so for that i'm going to you have two options so you can put this inside an input and when you print that then you'll see that you can store that whatever the user input you can store that in another variable or you can just keep it there in the Q1 however you want but let's just try to put this in a different function so this function is going to be input and then I'm going to put all of this inside the parentheses this means that the program is going to ask you something whenever you respond to that message whenever you type something then something else is going to happen so for now we're just going to run this let's just go to uh let's just hit ctrl f5 and we'll see a couple of messages here would you like to buy some fruits but notice that this is not a normal uh this is not a regular uh message that we had before now it's letting you type something can you see that so if I say okay uh, yes and then I hit enter 
it's going to print my variable q1 that's perfect so far so good but we need to do something else something in addition to that because we're asking the user to basically tell me if they like fruits so if they like fruits I want them to actually buy fruits from my supermarket so the next step is going to be to generate an if statement so I'm going to type if question one is in and I'm going to say okay either the user types yes with capitals or no capitals so let's just have the two options uh, for now let's just work with this one because I mentioned here that these are just your options but you could also say okay what if the user types yes but we're just going to leave those two um, just for simplicity all right so if the input so if the user actually types yes so if q1 is yes either if they type it on capitals or no capitals then i want to print something else i want to do something else so i'm going to say okay uh if that happens then i want you to input something different so if that happens ask the user again so ask the user if they want any fruits so uh, let's just type what kind of fruit uh, would you like okay so that's going to be another question after the user typed yes it'll be great to put this in a variable so let's just generate a different variable so we can handle the situation better let's just call this question two so if the user typed yes then ask this other question that's basically the whole logic perfect so let's just print um thank you for your support and then we're going to add the response for this question two so if they uh, the user says oh you know what i want uh, apples so i want to print the apples after this message thank you for your support apples well it makes no sense for real so let's just change this message thank you for buying apples that'll be a good message okay all right so what if the user doesn't type yes but they type no that's going to be an else so else option so if this doesn't happen then I want something else to happen so what I want to happen is I want to print another message so I'm going to say um, thank you for your visit we hope you can buy later for example that's another message okay so if this doesn't happen then I want this message that's pretty much what I'm saying now all right 
I feel like we're done with this. Why don't we just run this application? Let's just go to run without debugging and let's test it out. All right, it says that uh, there is an, uh, there's something wrong with this right here. So let's see what's going on. So if Q1 in, Oh, okay, perfect. So I need this, uh, I feel like I need these columns. Let's just run this again. And, um, okay, I can see that the else also needs this. So just don't forget that, like in Python it works that way. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, I have, a, I have a typo here as well, so it's input, input. Okay, let's just run it again, control F5. And now it looks like it's working. Let's just clear this out. Uh, so we have a better uh, understanding. All right, so I corrected this. So it's an input and I put the colon in the if and the else. So I feel like we're ready to go. This is input, yeah, that's perfect. So if we go and run this again and we test our program we'll see that we have a welcome to the big elephant market which is my first message and then i print the message right here next step we have another question we have a question for this user would you like to buy some fruits yes or no so i'm going to say yes i want to buy something so yes and then i type enter then i have my yes because i want that to be printed and because i have a yes here i'm going to go with my next question which is what kind of fruit would you like notice that if i'm going to type no we're gonna do it in the next few minutes we're just gonna go directly to the second message. All right, so uh, what kind of fruit would you like? I'm going to say apple. And if I type enter again, then the message is going to tell me, thank you for buying apple. So thank you for buying and then Apple, which was my input. All right, perfect. So that part of the program is working. Now we're going to test our else. Okay, perfect. Let's just run it again. Let's just clear this out. So my terminal is empty now and i'm going to run this again so let's just hit, hit ctrl f5 i have my message would you like to buy some fruit so i'm going to say no this time if i say no then my uh, response my answer actually shows up as well print my response this is the same as if you type yes and then because it's not inside these two conditions because I typed n then I'm going to have my second print statement so thank you for your visit thank you for your visit we hope you can buy later so that's another option you can keep adding options um, if else statements um, 
but you gotta make sure that there's a good logic with it. So in this case, just notice that I'm indented. I indented this because it's inside the same if else. If I do something like this and I try to run it again, then it says expected and indented block. So there's an error, there's an indentation error. That's how Python works. So you have to indent whenever you're pretty much talking about the same things, like if you have a function, if you're talking about the same things, then indent. In other programming languages, you'll have something like a semicolon in order to like separate stuff out. But in Python, we do it that way. All right, let's just print another message. So we say goodbye. This is the end. So if I run this again, I'll have this message at the end, no matter if I typed yes or no. So let's just hit Control F5. And I'm going to have, uh, let's say, yes. And then uh, this time I would like an orange or oranges. Enter. And then it's going to tell you, thank you for buying oranges. And then you're going to have the message. This is the end. All right. So that's basically how you guys can start building um, programs on Python and the way you use variables, the way you use the if and else statements, and the way you use the input, which is uh, really important if you need to ask the user to do something. And of course, the print function. You can add messages and the variables. Okay, perfect. So I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.